welcome you inside the beautiful Pearl of the Palms, Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is UFC Fight Night Live. These fans are ready for a fight, and the UFC plans to deliver. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The best strikers, wrestlers, submission artists, they are all set to compete here tonight inside the world-famous Octagon. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, here we are again. More great fighters, more great fights. Yeah, it is crazy the amount of talent we have here in the UFC, and these guys are only getting better. The matchups we have this evening are very, very interesting, Mike. It's hard to say who's going to come out on top. I do know, though, that if you're a fan of mixed martial arts you are in for a treat tonight now you said it partner a great night of fights ahead for all of us all these matches coming up could be very memorable but before our first fight let's take a look at the rules of the octagon three judges will score the bout the bout duration of three five minute rounds there are no championship fights on the card tonight a 10 point must scoring system is in effect with the round winner gaining 10 points his opponent nine or less based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. begin our night with a lightweight fight between Ross Pearson and George Sotteropoulos. With half a dozen of his career wins coming by way of armbar, Australian fighter George Sotteropoulos has earned a reputation as a deadly submission artist. A highly technical striker as well, he has the tools to dominate the fight anywhere it takes place. With a wide variety of strikes and effective submissions, Ross Pearson is looking to go from ultimate fighter winner to lightweight contender. Tonight, the real deal is ready to chalk up another win for MMA in the UK. is brought to you by Dodge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Pearl at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Lightweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, Washington. By way of Geelong, Victoria, Australia. George Satyropoulos. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sunderland, England. Ross, the real deal, Pearson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things started. George Sotteropoulos, Ross Pearson. And here we go. Oh, ducking in and counters that nicely. Oh, answered by a big body shot. He's got half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Oh, he got reversed. Oh, he's slapping on a triangle. He's pulling down in the head. He adjusts. It's over. Triangle choke. Victory tonight.
George Sotteropoulos with the victory. Perfectly executed triangle choke. As soon as he locks on this triangle, he gets that arm across the neck. And watch him adjust. And that just makes it even tighter. Flattens him out and just cranks down with those legs and the hands pulling down on the head. Just perfect technique. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, George Sotteropoulos. George Sotteropoulos, the winner. It's a heavyweight collision between Roy Nelson and Junior Secano Dos Santos. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. Are you ready? Are you ready? Junior Dos Santos, Roy Nelson, and we are Let's go, underway. Fight. Ultimate Fighter heavyweight winner, Roy Big Country Nelson. When he came onto the show, Joe, he was by far the most experienced mixed martial artist amongst the competitors. Yes, he was, Mike, and I was really excited to have him aboard. I had known... Nice counter right, he's down! He dives on him into the guard with that punch. Side control, nice right hand. Nice right hand! Nelson is cut open here, Mike. In the guard. Back to side control. He ate that one. And back to full guard. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Working with the over, the over under here. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Oh, answered by a big body shot. One, two, let's go. Watch him trying to bait you. He shoots okay, in. Shrugs him off. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. He's got his back here. Stay up, stay up. Pushing him up against the cage. Get him back and up. You're making a pay. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dominant position. He shoots. Shrugs him off again. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. Now they're going to close it up again, right to the clinch. Wants the single. And he's got the takedown. Oh! That wrist control. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. 
Stuffed. Wow, that right hand. He's got over under here from the back. Beautiful. Round one is in the books. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. Hey, look at the score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score with your jab. Mix up your jabs a lot. You gotta fight your fight. You gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a bigger strong. One quick thing, when you go jail blow, come back with the jab. Don't come back with the hook. He's leaning back. You'll catch him with the jab. Awesome. Good round. How you feel? Take a deep breath. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. The beautiful Shandella Powell. Are you ready? Are you ready? Set for round two. This guys. fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Shrugged off for now. Good takedown defense. They clinch again. Good takedown defense. He's in the full guard here. Side control now. Oh! Oh, we got reversed. Oh, he gets reversed. Able to pass the half guard. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Big right hand. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, beautiful hook. Oh, and again, he goes for a ride. Nice right hand into half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Postured up. Right hand. Oh, he got reversed. He passes to half. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. Oh, reversal. Moves into half guard here, Mike. Side control. Boom. Full guard here. Side control again. And really raining down some haymakers. Wow, that right hand. Coming up on one minute, baby. Half guard. Joe, he's going to get back up to his feet. Look at how he's utilizing the cage effectively. One minute. Wrestle, man. Oh, belly to belly again. And into full mount. Big right hand. Hands up. He ate that one. And now Dos Santos is cut open here too, Joe. Oh! That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. You gotta take it to him. You can dump him, you can throw him. You gotta punish him back. Breathe. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Come on, breathe. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that. Solid action in that round, Mike. Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Are you ready? Are you ready?
you ready. Third and final round. Fight. Last round. Over and over. He shoots in. Good takedown defense. He is teeing off right now. Hands up. Control the clinch. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Oh, nice, nice knee. knee. Good sprawl. He's in full guard. Side control. Nicely done. Half guard. Inside the guard. The crowd now in favor of Roy Nelson. Side control. Oh! Okay, he moves into the mount here. Explode! We gotta fight for our underhook. Under three minutes now. Nelson got hit on the same spot. That cut's really open now, Mike. You go now, you go. He's got both hooks in. Joe, this is dangerous. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. He's in the full guard. He's in side control here. He's got half guard. Do not let him turn into you. Hit him from half guard. Stay half guard with it. He's in guard here. Take it away. We just did that. Pushes him off with the feet. Dos Santos really starting to bleed now, Mike. The clinch game once again. Oh! And he slips and winds up on his back. Just over a minute remains. Come down with a gun, Mike. Boom! He's got his back. And mount again. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. He's in full guard here. And into side control. He ate that one. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Pushing his opponent away. He shoots. Inside with a clinch again. He's got the single. Nice strong. Good Good takedown defense. Three rounds complete. This fight is over. We will head to the judges' scorecards. Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Nice stiff counter right here. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Junior Segato Dos Santos. Junior Dos Santos earns the victory. a middleweight matchup between the Ultimate Fighter's original bad boy, Chris Levin, and Yoshihiro Akiyama.
Our tale of the tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. here go, guys. Yoshihiro Akiyama. Chris Lieben. And here we go. go Yoshihiro go. Akiyama, judo black belt absolute superstar in Asia and he's on a long unbeaten streak he's a very tough guy he holds a knockout win over Dennis Kang and on top of being such a tremendous fighter he's a huge star as a singer in Asia that the over under pushing him up against the cage Man, they're pummeling back and forth. It's hard to see who has the edge here. Control the clear. Heavy, heavy. Turn him out. Turn him out. Turn him out. Let me take that if you can. Follow him up. Keep going. He trips. Boom. Got him to the ground. Nicely done. Reversal. Very nice. Side control. Nicely done. Half guard. The real key here is to use the cage to help get yourself back to your feet. And back to full guard. Back to side control. Oh, and really raining down some haymakers. And he gets reversed. Oh, mount. Oh, reversal. Pressure. Pressure. He caught the leg. Full guard here. Side control again. Boom. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. And again. He loves throwing that punch. Joey's got the mount. This is not good. He ate that one. Just teeing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. He's got, got both, both hooks, hooks in. in. Joe, this is dangerous. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt! He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Final, there he goes. Back Joe to Mount again. Into half guard. And back to Mount again. Able to posture up from full mount. Round one complete. Joe, we saw that round mostly centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled and both are looking to finish. You swim that arm over. Good. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big force. Okay, push the pace. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long, okay? Got it all day long. Just gotta go Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Very nice throw here. Beautiful technique. And this is that ground and pound, pure domination right there. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big force. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Second round, fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Inside with the clinch again. Good takedown defense. Excellent takedown defense. Oh, belly to belly again. Boom. Inside the guard, posturing up. He's got side control. Oh, and again. And now looking for the finish. Oh, but he recovers. Half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Side control. That cut on Akiyama has really opened up. Goes right into side. Oh, he's tagged again. Man, those are knocked out. It is all over. That is some nasty ground and pound right there, Mike. Chris 
The Crippler leave it. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Look at it from this angle. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Chris the Crippler Leva. The Crippler, Chris Lieben with the victory. a middleweight matchup between Ultimate Fighter winner Kendall Grove and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Damian Maia. An elite grappler, Damian Maia's submission game is in a league of its own. But with his newly showcased stand-up skills, this Jiu-Jitsu master is becoming a true mixed martial artist. And tonight, he'll be putting his arsenal of skills to the test against another world-class opponent. At six foot six, Kendall Grove towers above most of his opponents in the middleweight division. And with well-rounded skills and an unbreakable will, he's looking to battle his way to yet another spectacular victory inside the octagon. is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Maui, Hawaii, Kendall the Spider Rose! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready, ready. to get things started. Damian Maya, Kendall Grove. Round one Fight. is underway. Joe, you've said it many times. Damian Maya has the best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in MMA. Joe, the big kick, and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. Side control. Oh! He's got half guard. Side control again. Maya is cut into half guard. 
take it away. We just did that. Got yes. the butterflies in. Get up right now. Right now. Get up. Oh, big shots. Mix it up. Mix it up with the Transitions to the full mount. Submission time. Three and a half. Make it work harder than you. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half. Oh, we got reversed. Great job on the reversal. Through half guard, through half guard. Work that wrist control. Oh, we got reversed. Reversal. Very nice. And he's got he's side, side control. control. He's throwing a leg up, looking for a triangle. Trying to remain patient. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Oh, he's got a triangle. I don't think it's tight. He's pulling down, down the back. The yep. He's got some pressure on it, Joe. It is all over. Very nice triangle. Man, Joe, that was textbook. Locked it in, pulled on the head, cut off the blood flow. Good night. Damian Maya with the victory. As soon as he gets that foot locked underneath his knee, pulls down on that head, and his opponent is forced to tap or black out. Here we see it one more time. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Damian Maya! Damian Maya reigns supreme.